Dillian White, Tyson Fury, Alexander Music, or Anthony Joshua. What a shower of shit this is turning into. Now, first of all, I really don't know where to begin, I guess, with all of the different politics. <clears throat> I'll start with Anthony Joshua. As a business person, as me, as a business person, I... <laughs> And as a 47-year-old man, I'd happily take the money to step aside from any fight, let alone a world championship fight. So, You're going to pay me? Yeah, absolutely. I won't fight you. For you're going to pay me not to fight? Yeah, I'd love that. I'd love that. I'd rather be paid not to fight than have to earn money fighting. So hats off to all the boxers. But my problem is with the language. And let's not mess about here everybody who knows anything about boxing knows lots of fighters over the years have been paid to step aside okay i think lennox lewis took step aside money you know that that's politics and there's business in politics there's no escape in that there's no getting around that the bit i don't like is you put in a rematch clause and you keep telling everyone about your legacy about avenging the defeats, about your status in the sport, about being a warrior, being a champion. And then we get some cryptic message about, well, business is business and I'm a businessman. And there's this little pyramid three point thing that you and your brothers talk about, which by the way, seems like a very good business plan. But you also want me to recognize you as a world champion, as a warrior, with a legacy in the sport. And for the record, I was genuinely surprised when AJ lost to Usyk. And I genuinely believe, as good as Usyk is, <laughs> and I know people disagree, I do think and believe Joshua can beat Usyk. I just think he has to play to all of his strengths and not give Usyk an opportunity to box. Usyk's going to outbox him all day. But I'm not going to get into that because there's a very good chance Usyk will win, win the rematch. Um, and I think that's partly because Joshua just tries to be too smart um, and just overthinks the situation. And I'm not going to blame Alexander Usyk for wanting to fight Tyson Fury. Why should he have a rematch with Joshua just because it was in the contract? He's just like, yeah, I'll just fight Tyson Fury because actually for those two that is a bigger prospect because one of them gets to claim to be undisputed so that makes perfect sense Dillian White they're arguing over the money Jesus Christ Dillian White has long long overdue his shot at the WBC belt there's no no dispute in that but for crying out loud, do you want the fight or not? It, it, it is that simple. Do you want the bloody fight or don't you? And I know, I know what people are saying about the, the split of the purse. But what, what do you want? Do you want the fight or don't you? And I've heard some things like it would still be the biggest payday of his life. And again, look, if, if Anthony Joshua and Dillian White came out and just said, I don't care about the belts, I don't care about the legacy, I care about the business, that it's a bloody business, first and foremost. I'd be like, hmm, that's, that's exactly what you're saying. But when you shut, walk around always telling people about being warriors, being fighters, legacy, I just want to be a champion, I want to prove myself in the sport. <laughs> it doesn't, act, it's actions, isn't it? Actions speak louder than words. And to be fair to Dillian White, he's never in a dull fight, is he? He puts it on the line. And you can't criticise him. He's, in some, some respects, you definitely can't because he, he's gone in and taken fights he didn't have to take. You know, which is a lot more than most of them. You know, and... 
it's just getting tiresome in the heavyweight division. Just get the fucking fights on. Joshua fight Usyk. Tyson fight White. The winners of both fight each other. For these guys, whilst trying to champion themselves as the greatest, the best, and the most deserving. You're just tying yourselves up in knots, basically for money. Now, with Joshua, it just makes no sense, man. How much money do you need? Like, again, I'm just pissed because I want you to fight. I want you to do your rematch with Usyk and prove that it, it was just a bad day in the office. Tyson Fury, I want you to fight Dillian White because Dillian White damn well deserves his shot at the title. And then Fury and AJ, no more fucking excuses. Get the fight on. Fury or Usyk, no more excuses. Get the fight on. Or <laughs> Dillian White, no excuses, mate. If you win, go and unify the titles. Get on with the fight. I want to see a unified heavyweight champion of the world. A unified. There is nothing better in boxing, regardless of the weight division, than when you have a unified fighter. The best of the best of the best. And that's what boxing fans deserve. That's what we want. And it's what I want to see. And I really just wish... The boxers would just stop talking so much shit. You, you're squabbling about money. Just be honest about that. You're happy to not fight for free money. And I would. I, even, I think even if I was a world champion, I honestly, honestly believe the businessman inside of me would just say, take the money. This guy's going to pay you X amount of money to not fight, and you get to fight the winner regardless. Okay. I honestly think I'd do that. I'm not a world champion. No one's ever paid me to fight. No one's going to. So I'll never know. But that's my opinion. That's my rant. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think.